In the previous step, we created a policy. Now we need to configure that policy. So if we look at the service here and we select uh, configure policy, in fact, I just started doing this before the recording. The first thing that we need to do is select is like, which is going to be your, your policy decision point. And then we selected this data power box in here, data power box 01 uh, for that. And we also specified that the authorization uh, is going to be, uh, uh, the, the policy decision point is going to be done by the data power instead of uh, an RTSS, which is the other option. So it's going to be data power. We click next. And it's going to be an authorization policy. We need to configure that one. So we click here and configure. We span on the application role. And this is the precisely the policy we just defined. And we need to do the mapping for that. So we specify what registry and is the LDAP where the users are uh, defined. And in here we need to uh, specify uh, the base, uh, base uh, DN, which is O equals IBM. We need to specify the search query which is object class groups of name and the attribute is C and common name and we click on search and here it is we need to select the policy we are going to use in here, which is TSPM permit 10K. And we click OK. So we are done here with the mapping. We click Next for the next step. We click Finished and the policy has been configured. So if we go back to the service, we see that we have completed the second step, which is we added the policy, now we configure the policy. In the next step, we're going to distribute the policy to the data power box.